What is good, everybody? It is your boy Cap back with another Xenoverse 2 update video for you guys. Today we're gonna be going over really quickly um the newest raid that will be going on within Xenoverse 2, and it will be up against Super Baby 2, as you see right here. Now, before we actually get into the schedule, the rewards, all things like that, a couple things I want to say really quickly. One, I do want to apologize for the kind of like lack of uploads. I've had so much going on. Some of you guys know so much going on in my personal life. On top of the fact that I'm really getting my second channel, trying to start again, that one going as well and uploading a lot more over there. Also, if you want to check out that second channel, it is linked down below in the description. I will say it is for gotcha games only, like mobile games, things like that. So if you enjoy that type of thing, be sure to check out my second channel. Again, link down below in the description. Um, Last thing I do want to say, guys, is expect the first fighters video on the channel very, very soon. Finally recorded the first gameplay. My cojones got big enough to finally do it you know i was just nervous because it feels weird when it comes to dragon ball fighters i was always so used to winning so much things like that i was a top 100 player before and now i'm just kind of ass compared to you know the players that i want to be like once again so again stay tuned for the newest fighters video coming very very soon now finally getting into this video sorry for anybody who did not care for that nonsense but getting into this video, starting out with the schedule, guys. This raid is starting on May 2nd, and we'll go to the 6th. Now, of course, this is the JP timeline. We are a little bit different over here in America. Um, usually, these raids start at like 2 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned for it. I don't know, again, when exactly it'll start, but it should be either tonight at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or tomorrow at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It should be one of the two when this raid actually starts now this is not a light raid this is a regular raid um i'm assuming when it comes to the light raids there'll be more um raids that are like you know uh stuff that does not include dlc clothing or anything along those lines these this raid right here though does include a dlc 10 outfit as you will see but starting off with the rewards at 5,000 damage you get the street name more and you get golden Ubmajub's outfit that is basically the outfit that you get from it at 5,000 you get the hands at 15,000 you get the bottom 30,000 the top and then at 50,000 the shoes and the gold scouter at the same time for a whole full-on golden outfit now besides that the rewards kind of really are lackluster I'm not gonna lie to you guys um it just isn't that great to be honest like there's nothing else there's no super soul like usual or anything along those lines so that does kind of suck um so i doubt that a lot of people will probably participate in this raid besides those who like just fighting against the raid bosses themselves or those who missed out on the golden majub outfit and actually wanted it the first time around now something i did just see out of the corner of my eye is there is another tp metal shop lineup update so let's try to check this out real quick together See, I doubt anything new came, but um, just to, you know, might as well check. But basically, it looks like the Super Maju outfit, you know, Super Oob's outfit is there as well. Um, you can play the extra mission, Son Goku Sayuki costume. I believe that's the end of Z. No, that's not the end of Z. So the end. Oh, Monkey King of Z. Damn, that's that's a terrible translation. <laughs> Monkey King of Z last uniform. So basically, the end of Z outfit. And the um, Oob outfit will be available if you have not gotten those, along with all the other ones, you know, the Journey to the West, the Wee uh, Spoo Stick, the Napa Wig, and then we got the Super Souls that came in around DLC 8. They've always come in two waves, the first 15 and then the last 15. So we got the first 15 wave going on from the 10th to the 16th, and then again from the 17th to the 23rd, another wave of gifts coming in. Um, Boo's and Goku's End of Z stuff will be there. And then um, this is where you'll get like the winter clothes, the Santa outfits, things like that will be available this time around in terms of gifts. And then the last batch of Super Souls comes in all the way from the 24th to the 30th. So damn, man, like once again, what the hell? This really, this really just like, it's like, man, y'all just keep repeating the, 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 the TP Metal Shop over and over again. Keep giving it to the people. Keep updating it. Um, Keep releasing raids. What the hell is truly going on, man? Like, I'm hoping that this Summer Games Fest gives us some closure or this upcoming V-Jump gives us some closure as to what the hell is truly going on with Xenoverse 2 at this point in time. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. All these things that are still going on in terms of events, they're still... I, I don't know why at this point in time, like, why not just make all this stuff in the TP Metal Shop permanent? 
it, w it would just make sense to me if you're just gonna literally every time the one rotation ends put the exact same rotation in because I believe if we go all the way down this rotation ended on the second and I believe this rotation starts on the third does it not yeah it starts on the third so again if you're just gonna keep putting the same rotation in over and over and over again why not just add it in completely all the time like it doesn't make any sense so um again i'm just really curious as to what the hell they're really doing man it, it i've never seen many games release events and content for the community even though it's rinse wash and repeat events if they don't have any further plans for the game in terms of dlc or anything like that or if the game series is over and there's no future one to come so again very very confused hopefully like i said though this month's v jump leaks gives us some kind of closure or this month or this the the summer game festival that will be going on this summer from may to august gives us some kind of closure whenever bandai does their direct and, and does some things even though we might get a like anime game released on another showing or another direct like we have in the past like at past e3s there were games that were shown that were not necessarily like that were bandai and like shown exclusively on xbox uh um direct or or things like that so we'll see what happens with the summer games fest but again hopefully we get some answers on this soon let me know what you guys think is going on with that and then if you guys will be participating in this raid and if you think that they should just put all this stuff into the tp metal shop permanently at this damn point in time but as always man thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you have a good day hey y'all